gentlemen, welcome to the week six video. Uh, it's your boy Richie Fox, Double Orgasm Nights. Back-to-back uh, -back wins. Suck it, Chris. I just wanted to get that out of the way early. Um, so yeah, some teams won, some teams lost, and we're going to go over it right now. Got some, some guests. I'm excited about that. Let's get this thing going. Uh, high score of the week in week five was uh, Big Papa. Big Papa Russo, 158.6, um, beating Steve, <laughs> uh, who had 131.58, who continues to put up decent scores, but continues to lose. Also losing, <coughs> excuse me, his players, including Clyde edwards Lair, Russell Wilson. It's not looking good for Steve right now. So, also, we're sponsored by Ham and Cheese Burritos with yellow peppers in it. Mm. Pretty good. I'm going to talk with my mouth open. So, yeah. Big Pop out 158.6. James had 151. Jeremy had 145. I even had 133. So, it was a pretty high scoring week. Um, Steve would have beaten at least half the league. Unfortunately, he played the guy with the most points again. Um, but, you know, it's Steve, so... I'm happy. Couldn't happen to a better person. Uh, so, let's see. The rest of the scores we got, like I said, you got Mr. Russo uh, coming out on top against Steve. You got me beating Chris. Suck it, Chris. James destroying Bobby, 151 to 115. Jeremy edged, um, edged it out against uh, the, the big-ass TDs, giving him his first loss of the year, 145 to 134. And Matt continues to get slightly lucky and remains 5-0 with a score of 113 to 106. So, and if Matt would have played any other team, <laughs> he would have lost. So, and then Spawn, per usual, is our lowest scoring team of the week. No, I'm just kidding. He's pretty good. But uh, 106.62. But he should be getting Christian McCaffrey back this week. So we'll see what happens. A uh, couple things I wanted to go over, man. Um... Steve loses again. We can all be very, all of us you know, applaud, be happy about that. 0-5. Um, I just want to point out, I had Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He has Clyde Edwards Hilaire. 0-8, 0-5. Coincidence? I think not. Steve says it is, oh, it's not Clyde Edwards Hilaire's fault. He's a great RB2. I don't know, man. <laughs> facts are the facts. You know, the proof is in the pudding if you will. So, um, yep. Anyway, so that was our recap pretty quick. Um, I figured, you know what? I want to do a deep dive into this thing. We're in week six now, you know, that's just pack pa just past week five. If you didn't know. And I was like, I mean, spawn, I think we're talking about it. And I was like, what's a good score for the week? Like if you, like, how many points do you have to score to say, this is a good week or this is a bad week? Because back in the day, before Spawn uh, was born, before I founded Spawn, if you will, Jeremy, who I also founded, um, we used to do it where it was uh, no PPR at all, no half point, no nothing. So a good week was about 90 points. But now, you know, with the half point PPR and more of an offensive NFL, I got to thinking, what's a good week? So I figured, you know what? I'm going to break this motherfucker down. So I'm going to sound hopefully pretty smart right now, but here it goes. So Jeremy, who is, if you ca in case you did not know, the highest scoring team in the league, not by far, but enough. He edges out James, I believe. It's 667.22 to 643.26, and then Shane's right behind that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So if you take Jeremy's points, who's the highest scorer in the league, and you divide, and you divide that sucker by five, you get, he has an average of 133.4 points per week. So obviously, that's a if he's the highest scorer in the league, and that's what he's averaging, if you score 133 points, you should expect to win, um, which is why Steve did, and he only scored 131. So if you would have scored 133, you had a better chance. So that's on you. Now... Obviously, if we have to go to the highest, we also have to go to the lowest. And let me double check, make sure I didn't fuck this up. Bobby, unfortunately. Sorry, Bobby. One and four, Dak picks. Um, 
He has 528. So divide that sucker by five using your calculator. 105.6. So a good week, 133.4. A bad week, 105.6. So if you don't score at least 105, you could pretty much expect to lose unless you're Matt. You're just going to win no matter what because teams aren't going to score against him. If you score 133... You could expect to win, unless you're Steve, because right now he has horrible luck, and it's awesome. So a good average score is about 120 points. So that's what you should be shooting for every week, is about 120 points should be a, like a good score, not an average, maybe not an average score, but a good score. So I don't know. I found that kind of interesting. I don't know if you guys did, but whatever. You're, you're listening. I'm in charge of this motherfucker. You have to listen. Or I guess you don't really have to, but you're choosing. Anyway. Um, you're welcome for wasting your time and, uh, let's get to the guests. That's what everyone wants. Right. And, uh, let's see if I can get this gentleman on the line so we can discuss, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what your what number you're under. Let's see. Let's discuss his team's outlook. Hey, Big Papa, how you doing? Hey, who's this? This is the commissioner? This is the commissioner, your boy Richie Fox. Oh, what a what a pleasure. What a ple- Hold on one second. Hey, Karen, do me a favor. Hold all my calls for a little while. <laughs> I got the commissioner on the phone. Hey, I appreciate that. Hey, no problem. Hey, What's t- up, man? What, what can I do for well, you? First off, let me start off with I love you, and we are being sponsored here by Egg, Ham, and Cheese Burritos. So awesome, man. Yeah. Um, I love you too. I love you too. Um, first things first, man, you were the high score of the week. How do you feel? I, uh, I was a little surprised because I just came off of a uh, 64 point disaster. Yeah, that was pretty uh, bad. I called you out for that too. And then you said, did you really, you know, yeah, okay. All right. I, I didn't hear the last video. I was that depressed that I kind of went in my room and, uh, Came out the the day before uh, Sunday. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, <laughs> Fair yeah, enough. And I played I played uh, uh, McFadden, who didn't do too well either. He had 90, 90 something points. So uh, that was a tough loss, man. Yeah. Well, you know what? You bounced back pretty well, man. One hundred and fifty eight. Um, yeah. Anything you want to say to Steve? Apologies. Because uh, <laughs> this as, as, far, as far as what now. So Steve has been getting annihilated all season. He has easily, I believe it's, yeah, he has easily the highest points against, and you um, help that. He's, he's, he's been scored on like 100 points more than anybody else. Yeah, yeah. I, Do you I, feel I, bad I, at I, all? or He's one of your jet brethren. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got way back, me and Steve, and, and I feel bad for him. Uh, but as, as cocky as he is, it's hard to feel bad for him. But I love him so much that I do have that little space in my heart for him. You know what I'm saying? I, I, hey, listen, I hear you. I hear you. I wonder if he cried more um, with this loss or when you walked into the fantasy draft two years ago. That's... It's, it's hard to say. We would have had to have a video camera on him, you know? I think what really hurts, if he's going to be honest with himself, we did a little trade a, a week or two before that, and I got um, Antonio Brown. Oh, yeah. And I happened to play him against Steve, and it came back to bite him in the ass. It really did. Fuck oh, yeah, it did. That, that's how trades go. You know that, Kamish. You know what, man? I appreciate you destroying him. Um, yeah, yeah, Steve is cocky. He's very arrogant, and he deserves everything he's getting this year. Yeah, he has an underrated team. Usually you say that with a team that's uh, winning, uh, but they're not getting a lot of publicity. You say they're underrated, but he's been losing. Uh, but he's still underrated because he has a pretty good team. He's putting points up there, but he's uh, going against some uh, tough competition. Speaking of tough competition, perfect lead-in. Do you know who you're playing this week? Uh, I think I'm playing the commission, if I'm not mistaken. You are not mistaken. How do you feel about this week's matchup? You, you know what? I'm always scared when I play you, Rich. I, I oh, got to yeah. say, uh, uh, you, you, I think you're – Actually, in a position to beat me, I think the percentage shows that. Uh, no, no, you got me right now. You got me fifty-one forty-nine. It's gonna be a close oh, game. Right? But you know what? I really don't. That don't matter to me, you know, because that fluctuates so much. One, one or two guys go off. 
that's uh, you know can make or break you. You know that. That's true. That's true. And I like your um, I like your full Bills lineup here. It's working out. You, you, you know something? I just want to say to everybody out there. You know, uh, even though uh, age wise, uh, I got everybody beat, but you guys got the the brains for this game. Uh, I'm going up against some some tough competition in, in the Beef Boys. That's true. Uh, this is a this is a stout crew, and I'm just trying to maintain and hold my own. You know, I, I'd rather hold somebody else's, but I hear uh, you. I'm hold, I'm holding my own right now. So I'm not big on trading. I'm not big on picking up people on the wire, but I happen to pick up those Buffalo players, and it it uh, did me good. Hey. It, it, it's working out pretty damn well, and I think we can all agree we would mu- we would like to hold you as well, obviously. Yeah. Thanks. Um, I appreciate that. So I usually give everyone the opportunity. Do you have anyone you want to call out, talk shit about, appreciate? No, you the know floor what? is yours, you know, man. No, you, you know what? I I got three three guys that I'm afraid of, to be honest with you. And if if I remember correctly, it's um, James. Got a hell of a team. And, and I'm not even going by record. I'm just going by, I think, the points. I think all these teams that, that I'm going to mention are over 600. I think it's James, Jeremy, and uh, and uh, Shane. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, these guys got, and I lost to Shane. Uh, I haven't played Jeremy yet. So it's a. Jeremy, it's a Jeremy's nothing to worry about. I took care of him. He's easy. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. You know, I look at the points that they're putting up, man. It's just, it's a, they're tough teams. Not, I'm not taking anything away from anybody else. No, I hear uh, you. But, no, uh, Jer- Jeremy's got the most points. He's doing well. But he's the regular season champ. This is what we expect. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. I get it. And I usually do pretty good in the beginning of the season. Then I falter off. I don't know if it's because my lack of trading or, or picking up the right people at the right time, but... <clears throat> I'm taking it serious. Not that I haven't, but I'm taking it serious. I, I want to definitely get into the playoffs because you know that anything can happen once you're in. I don't know, man. Looking at your lineup, it looks pretty good to me. You got two solid running backs, one of the best quarterbacks. So good. Your tight end, yeah. your tight end's blowing up. So you actually got three yeah. solid. You have uh, yeah. actually you have yeah you have a lot. You have a very good team. You get three solid running. Yeah, backs I, I'm stuff. feeling pretty good right now, but that don't mean shit. Not to mention, you just picked, you got Tony on the waiver wire, so I know there was a few yeah. people probably going for him. So I, I, yeah, that's what I was wondering about. I don't know what to bid on him. I don't want to. Dude, you know. he's a terrible start this week. I would not put him in your lineup. Oh, Definitely. No, no. I, I don't think I have him in my lineup. Yeah, no, leave him right out of there for sure. Yeah, yeah I would yeah, never. Yeah. yeah, he's awful. He's probably. I would drop him. Just pick him up to drop him. And one thing I want to mention, I don't know if everybody thinks the same way, but. Every time I try to get strategic and look at the defense, uh, a quarterback's going against or whatever, and I say, ah, shit, I'm going to drop this guy and put somebody else in his place, I always screw up. I- I'm going to start going with my gut feeling. Yeah. Um, you know? I, I think that Antonio I think that happens Brown. to everybody. Yeah, I put Antonio Brown in because I just felt like he was going to do good last week. It was a good <coughs> feel, and I did it, and it paid off. So I'm going to go with my gut. Yeah, he fucking killed it. He fucking killed yeah, it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm gonna ask you the same question I asked Matt. Not to put you on the spot, if you could pick one person yeah, in this put league, put me on the spot. If you could pick one person in this league to punch right in the face, who would it be? To punch in the face, you know, I'm not a violent guy. I know, but you got to punch one person in the face. Who would it be and why? Come on. I, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. Maybe, and I hate, you know, mm-hmm. I'm going to see him at the next uh, draft, but maybe because I don't know Spawn. Okay. I, I would bitch slap him. I okay, yeah. Him. No, he's got I a suit. I give him a backhand. I see it, yeah. He's got a very slappable face. And not to mention, he's a cocky little fuck right now, too. He's yeah, ca- yeah. I mean, he came about in. My size, about my size, if I do a backhand, I would probably just about get him right in the face, you know? <laughs> yes. Yes. If I took a shot at late, I probably hit him in the nuts. You know. That's true. Yeah, he's a tall guy. Yeah. So he's... you got to take that in consideration. But all right, man. Well, thanks for answering. I love you. All right. Well, when is this going to be posted? Uh, depending on how long the video is, YouTube takes a while to load. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, like thirty to forty-five minutes, I'd hope. Right now, it's oh, oh, today, today, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. 
so- sounds good. Hi, man. It's appreciate uh, you calling me uh, on this uh, beautiful afternoon or morning, whatever. What are, what are your plans today? Well, how's retired life? What do you plan on doing? My, my plans today... Um, I already masturbated, so... Uh, <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Me, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, sometimes I like to get it out of, way, out of the way, you know? I, dude, yeah, I can imagine. It's very stressful, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anything now, else? I'm, I'm sitting out on the porch having coffee. Then I'm going to go in my shop. I have a 68 Camaro that I'm working on. That's pretty cool, so, actually, yep. You know, that's what retired life's all about. Sounds like you can use the 650 bucks toward the car if you win the league, so that's good. Yeah, 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 absolutely, man. You could always use money. All right, buddy. Good talking to you. Thanks for calling. Same here, man. Good luck to everybody. All right, love you. I love you too. God bless. He is the best. He is a top five human being on earth. Um, I'm just going to, he might be number one. Anyway, big Papa Russo. Fucking hell of an interview. Probably the best interview I've had. Um, that's some, some real breaking news, some good information in that one, some good information. Uh, not to mention if you close your eyes and just really focus, <laughs> I could picture him masturbating. So that's awesome. Anyway, um, I got somebody else I wanted to call. Uh, I want to get his input and, uh, you know, Mr. Russo mentioned him a couple of times, um, so let's, uh, let's give old Spawny a call and see what he's got to say. Oh, for a second, I thought my phone wasn't going to work, but we made it. Fucking 10.06, let's see if he answers. There he is. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> week six, baby, week six. You're, uh, you're on, you're live-ish. Um, oh, we are up, you're fucking degenerates. couple things. Num- number one, hard. we're being sponsored by, um, egg, cheese, and ham burritos. Wow. Yep. I actually, day. I just got done. Uh, cause I just, uh, talked to Mr. Russo, big daddy, big Papa Russo, excuse me. And, uh, you know, I ate it while I was talking to him, so I don't really have it in front of me anymore, but it was pretty good. And then, uh, oh, um, you know, I'm, I have a question. I have a few questions, but I'm going to start off with this one because, there's no way for you to know this yet. So Mr. Russo, um, he couldn't tell me who he would punch in the face. He said, I I can't do that. But he did say if he could pick one person to bitch slap, it would be you. How does that make you feel? That's fair. How does that make you feel? Um, yeah, no, I I get it. I get it. It's uh, I'm the new guy initiation. Sure. I get on board with it. So, uh, Uh, anyway, Steve, so let, uh, let's get into this. <laughs> you would punch Steve, yeah. That, yeah. I know you didn't ask. So yeah, just, no, no, I was I was going to at the end. Um, I was going to at the end. I no, already. Let's just, let's just get that. Get I that just assume up. everyone would punch. Is this have to do with Chuba Hubbard? Uh, or Chuba no, the Hutt or whatever. You can, you can tack that on. Sure. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. So let's uh, let's dive in. Let's ask let's ask the hard questions that everyone wants to know. All right. Um, you were the low scorer of the week last week, buddy. How do you feel? Ah, uh, it sucks, dude. It's pretty shitty. But, does it does it make I mean, you feel any worse that Matt was the second lowest scorer and he beat you because you were the lowest scorer? I mean, it's it sucks, but I mean, I didn't have McCaffrey because Matt Rule fucking sucks and decided he wanted to give me blue balls. And fucking edge me all week and say, oh, McCaffrey looks good and all this bullshit. And, you know, so that fucking sucks. And then pretty much my entire team did shitty, I think. I don't really remember. But, yeah, Waller did pretty bad. And Calvin Ridley decided he didn't want to go to London for whatever fucking reason. And, uh, yeah, whatever. I'm hoping my team turns around. I'm looking to have my my roster back so that should help yeah you had some tough so. breaks you've had some tough breaks but you're three and two you know you're in the win column i think you're sixth in the playoff hunt let me make sure of that uh playoff bracket you are sixth right behind right, old well, seymour so snatch so you're in the playoffs i'm right behind you yeah, still um, a long season left though who do you play? let's see who you play this week uh let's i already... think i play who do i oh i play steve I'll you do play steve 
Perfect. So you're, yeah. More than right. likely, your team is going to have a bounce back. Yeah, no. What's probably going to happen is McCaffrey will get ruled out last minute, and Chubber Hover will have a fucking career day. And make that ninety nine dollar bid just fucking worth it because that's just that's how she blows sometimes, man. That but, dude, Steve is going to be all over that mass text. Oh no, I know. I'm ready so, for it. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be bad if that happens. But man, he he lost Russell Wilson. He lost his his best player in Clyde Edwards Hilaire. That has nothing to do with him losing, apparently. So, <laughs> um. Me, uh, in all reality, I do feel for him. It fucking sucks, man. Like, he's, what, 10 points or whatever? He's actually ahead of Matt and I make a point score, and he's still... Oh, five, no. So. Steve, Steve's ahead of a lot... Steve's ahead of a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I feel for him, dude. It fucking sucks, So Steve man. has 570. That puts him ahead of Bobby. Matt, who's 5-0. and oh. Steve's 0-5, has more points, and Matt's 5-0. and oh. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Chris, <laughs> myself... <laughs> Steve's even 12 points ahead of the, the fucking, the double orgasm Knights, the six time champ. Steve's got, no, Steve's doing pretty well. You know, he's like, he's in the middle, but he's just getting pretty shitty luck. But yeah, do you I think just look at karma, record. karma yeah. has to play a factor in this? Yeah. He's <laughs> a pretty shitty person. So yep. yeah, it makes sense. And, and so far <laughs> out of the votes, out of the votes we have, we have two and a half votes that would punch Steve in the face first. And then one for you. So, yeah, yeah, that's fine. you know, I haven't, I haven't, I, well, I actually, expected. technically you're a slap, not even a punch. So I'm that's not really fine. sure what that equates to, but Steve has two full punches. And I think Matt said <laughs> if he, if he was pressed, he would punch Steve as well. So, um, let's see. So how do you feel about your matchup this week? Did we discuss it? Uh, I mean, I feel better about it than I did last week. Yeah. Um, it looks like I'll have McCaffrey back. Um, who else? I think Cal- Calvin Ridley's on by. Um, I think everyone else has decent matchups, man. So we'll see. Um, I'm not sure who, who's all playing. Who? I got Henderson, Woods, Cooper, and Cooper's hit or miss. Henderson's been good. He's been my rock. Hurts. Nah, there's no um, doubt. I'm looking at it. You should definitely win this week. You you have the I advantage. Should, but I mean, the two losses I had were like by a combined ten points. So, but I mean, for the first time, coin flip. For the first time, Clyde edwards helaire is not going to be in his lineup, so that might actually free him up to win a game. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Um, anybody? Any? Uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. It's early, you know. No, um, there's a lot going on. Yeah, and and on me, and that happens to me a lot. Uh. Uh, any uh, anything else you want to talk about? Anyone you want to call out? Um, no, I think I did that already. Yeah, you feel good? No, I'm sure that will promptly trigger a, a fuck you spawn text, so I'm looking forward to that once. This I think no matter what happens throughout the day, I see at least one fuck you spawn text. Yeah. No, I mean, I haven't gotten one this week, so yeah, I'm overdue. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, all right, buddy. Well, good. You know, yeah, I haven't I, I haven't know, seen you. Like I haven't that. seen you since this morning, so I missed you. I know it's been a couple hours. Yep, it has. I missed you, so I'm. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate your time, and uh, I look forward. Uh, you know, to see to seeing you again uh, Saturday. Yeah, it'll be a good day. All right, buddy. It'll be a good day. All right, I love you. Love you too, bud. What a fat can in my right. Oh my god. So, some serious news there. Um, what are we, 23 and a half minutes in? We got some time. We got some time. I didn't even discuss uh, the trades, man. The trades. So, <clears throat> Matt, Matt, you know, trades me, uh, DJ Moore, so we can get Pollard, you know. So, it was pretty obvious. You know, Pollard and Chase Claypool, to be fair. Um, Something like that. Chase Claypool. Okay. Um, I don't know. He hasn't performed for me this year, so fuck that guy. Um, so I trade. You know, I trade the mat, and you know, James calls him out. He's like, obviously, he's going for uh, Zeke Elliott, and sure as fuck, it happens. It happens, and I think it was Zeke Elliott and Matt traded uh, Kareem Hunt and Mike Williams. So um, I think a good trade uh, for all parties. I think Matt makes his team very strong. And um, he's set up for uh, the, you know, the, the playoff hunt at this point. He's five and zero, so he's almost guaranteed at least a spot. 
if he wins like maybe two more games, he, he can go on a, a horrible losing streak. If he wins like one or two more, uh, he should be good to go for the playoffs. So good trade, uh, good trade overall. Bobby, he's got some work to do uh, at one and uh, at one and four, but. I think Bobby was once 0-4 or 0-5 and, and then made the playoffs and won the league. So it's not too late, maybe for Steve, but uh, it's not too late for anybody else. So um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's let's go to the matchups. Let's go to the matchups uh, coming up here. So, so you got me against uh, Big Papa. I have to go with the Big Papa in the win there. Um Damn, Shane versus Matt. That's going to be a heck of a game. Right now, Shane is projected to lose, but he also has people on bye week in his lineup, so that's going to change. Um, you know, Matt's got Kamara on bye. Going to be some good games. I I would imagine James is going to destroy Chris. Sorry, Chris. Oof. Bobby drew Jeremy this week. That's probably not good for Bobby. I'm very interested to see what happens in the spawn and steve game because uh, it would make sense for this to be steve's first win um so just just so he could send like a picture of his nutsack with the fuck he spawned with it so but all right let's, throw, let's look at the playoff bracket you know let me give you guys a little update here so in the number one seed you got matt going into a bye week at five and oh and the number two seed you got shane at four and one the three seed, the regular season champ, makes an appearance there. And he's going to go up against so far Spawn in the six seed at three and two. And then in the four seed, you got the defending champion, Let let Me See You TDs, and James Hanshio up against Mr. Russo. And just outside of the playoffs is myself at two and three. Up, oh, Jeremy has texted me back late saying he is available. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we're already doing the video. Um, he must have just woke up from his um, mid-morning nap. So, sorry, man, you missed it. Uh, next week, though. Next week, for sure. Um, but, yeah, you got Bobby coming in at 9, Chris Russell at 8, and then Steve all the way down there at uh, the number 10 spot. So, um, it's early. But, you know what? I figured let ESPN does it. It's like, week two power rankings. And, it, you know, God forbid one team loses, they fall like number 27 because they're terrible now or whatever. So I figured, you know what? It's not too early. It's mid-season. Let's look at the fucking little playoff bracket here. So there's an update on that, just in case you fucks don't, you know, pay attention. Do, 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 do. I think that's about it. I think that's about it. Um, I love each and every one of you. Um, to Mr. Russo, I really could use a win this week as well to make my team 500. Take the pressure off a little bit, so I hope your team underperforms. Because I know mine will. And... <sighs> I guess that's it. Pooper!